Hey there. So you watched my permanent side effects of amphetamine based drugs on my old channel. And you had a question about whether methylphenidate and drugs based off of methylphenidate also had similar long term effects from use. And the answer to that question is absolutely yes, 100%. There was actually a recent study conducted by the National Institute of Health, a good and reputable organization that seeks to answer your exact question on the chronic effects of long-term methylphenidate use. In this study, they took ADHD patients who were treatment naive to ADHD drugs and divided them into two groups. One, the control group who received a placebo, nothing, and the other group, that received methylphenidate in therapeutic quantities, the way that they would treat you, that is treated these people. Before they started the study though, they took a brain scan of both groups of people, the control group and then those who are being treated with methylphenidate. Before we get into the results of the study, we have to very quickly discuss how this drug works. The idea of stimulant medications in treating ADHD is to raise dopamine levels. And the way that methylphenidate works as compared to amphetamines like Adderall, Vyvanse, and Dexedrine, Adderall, Vyvanse, and Dexedrine work by directly increasing dopamine levels. They just release more dopamine. Methylphenidate and cocaine and other stimulant drugs work in a different way to increase dopamine levels. What methylphenidate does is rather than release more dopamine, it blocks the dopamine transporter. And what the dopamine transporter does is that it removes dopamine from the system. So if you block this transporter, it will increase the dopamine levels over time. After a year of treatment, they did another brain scan. And what the study found was that those being treated with therapeutic levels of methylphenidate had 24% more dopamine transporter than the control group. And what they also found was that there was no change in the amount of dopamine transport of the control group. What the study then concludes is that long-term treatment with methylphenidate can lead to reduction of efficacy of the medication, which is why people need to increase their dose over time of methylphenidate and different stimulants. It also concludes that while not on the medication, it leads to exacerbation or worsening of the ADHD symptoms and may also lead to chronic depression. One thing I noticed in your question is that you had concerns about it being neurotoxic and what I want to say is that you have to be very careful with terminology because it's not technically neurotoxic, it's not poisoning your brain. Uh, what I would describe it as is it's inducing changes in your brain that are unfavorable long term. There's a big difference between something being toxic and simply creating more dopamine transporters. That's not really a toxin, it's just causing an unfavorable long term change. So someone can say it's not neurotoxic and they can be technically correct, but still it's creating unfavorable changes in your brain. And I know it sounds like I'm being very critical of this drug, but I really have no problem with the drug itself. It's a tool like anything else. And what you need to do is perform a cost-benefit analysis. Put up what the benefits you're going to gain and what the cost is. Now, what people have been doing for a long time is not painting the full picture. They just talk all about the benefits and say, no, there's no costs. It's not neurotoxic. There are no permanent side effects. There are. And that's why I'm making these sort of videos. We're all aware of what the benefits are. It's very well documented. But what is not so well documented or talked about are what those costs are. And so many people go into this and they listen to all of this noise on the internet and other places. And they'll just say, you know, these are all the benefits. It doesn't seem to be any cost. Let me just take some. And then they wonder why this medication eventually stops working all of a sudden their ADD symptoms get much worse and then they end up chronically depressed for the rest of their life and they end up having to take more medicines and it leads to a vicious cycle. I've seen it a million times when I used to work at an insurance company just listening to people's medication history. And if you talk to people who have taken it, you can get a first-hand account from them. I hope this answers your question. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. Until then, I'll see you next time.